hello and welcome to another video tutorial on cisco packet tracer in this video i will explain about how to connect two vein to each other so just let's start we will select generic devices for example one left of is here one device here one device here i think three is enough can be connected with switches 2960 is Okay. You create another lane. Here as well, I think three PC will be enough. Router nineteen forty one is okay. So first of all let's connect this with cables with copper straight to cable fast ethernet 0 slash 1 2 Same here. Connect with pass Ethernet to yes. Now connect this switch with this switch through router. So You can connect it with pass Ethernet 0 slash 4 or gigabit. I will use gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Gigabit 0 slash 1. Now we, we connect it, the topology is ready, now let's time for configuration, how we will configure this. So let's start from the first one. Configure. It needs the gateway, so first of all I will enter default gateway, it will be 192.168.1.2 IP address, IP address, I will configure IP address of class C, so 192.168.1.1 Same again for PC2, configure, get me, 192.168.1.2 IP address of this PC it will be 192.168.1.2 here this one as well that way we have 192.168.1.254 Static IP address, I give this one to 192.168.1.2 and it will be 3. Same to this PC, configure gateway. I will give you this to uh, class B address, so it will be 172.168. 16.1.254 so 172.16.1.1 okay. same again here it will be 172.16.1.2 
The address of this will be 172.16.1.2.54 subject must come automatically so, okay next for the pc3 gateway will be 172.16.1.254 ip address will be 172.16.1.254 I think it will be 3. Submit must come automatically. Now we configure all the PCs. Now just let's configure the router. Now first of all we have to enable the port status. Port status is on gigabit 0 slash 0 we give this one IP address what was our default gateway for that one it was 192.168.1.254 you can alternatively you can do it through command line interface as well for this interface gigabit interface 0 slash 1 port status I should on IP address I give you 172.16.1.254 it was 254 is ok now our topology is complete now let's start to test this one just need little bit time for this to, to be green yes fast forward time I think it's ok now now I want to test these two lens whether they are communicating with each other or not so first of all I will ping this PC from this one so go to desktop come on from ping what was the IP address of this PC it was plus C address it was 192.168.1.1 I think yes it's pinging with 32 bytes of data first of all you see request timeout the first packet was lost because it, it was just first time it was communicating so it's normal in simulated environment the rest 3 packets were sent send packet 4 receive packet is 3 lost is 1 so 25 percent loss anyway this is a good result so just ping one more pc from this side to this one stop come on from ping 172.16.1.254 think it will be 1 now you see this is pinging statistics show that packet 4 packet is sent received is 4 loss is 0 so 0 percent loss is successful you can add PDU as well A simulated environment just I will edit just one is enough ICMP to capture and that's it for today lecture see you in the next video